And that's the first points of four of the visitors. Jasmine of Cordelia. Crusaders are sitting their defence back quite quite deep, aren't they? So it's just to save their energy. They don't seem to have enough players to, to mix it up too yeah. much in the defensive end. So look to take it on, isolating Ruby Gray there, but stripped. So Frank Shields takes it. Takes off again straight down the middle. Gets the foul call and drops it for two. Well, a good job by Harvey driving through and drawing the foul and will go to the line for the extra one. Harvey, step back and gets it. Nice. Very ice cold move there. Again, they're starting to push up just a little bit. And Clark shoots just that point green shot and again. And Clark just stops. Looks for some help. Petrie back to doing what she does best. Ruby Gray with the ball over in the corner. Up to the top on the free throw line. Druckmans takes a couple of steps towards it and drops another two there. A little bit too easy. It's up to 14 now, the lead for the COE. Just doing it by inches. Ruby Gray shoots from the corner and gets that one. Miller. Row, row around it to Penn. Penn shoots. Big three from downtown for Matty Penn. And the final 45 seconds, 17 points of difference. Shane is kicking out McCubbin. Big shot from downtown. Gonna work hard. Kicks it out to Diaz. Diaz gets that one. It's in a bit of a sigh of relief. And sitting on 13 points of difference for a little while. And shot from downtown. Good shot. From Shields. Miller. Oh, blocked. Good job. By Shield. Oh, by third. Getting the ball over halfway pretty quickly. Bounce pass into Petrie. Petrie finds Juffmans. Juffmans does what she does best. Crusade is pressing again, looking for an opening. And a Rowe. Oh, able to find quickly. This drops again for her. Final few seconds of the game. And it is the COE who come away victorious 84 to 65 over the, uh, the Plucky Central Coast Crusaders.